Hello, let's fix some video. Let's uh, let's just uh, go on find some video right about here maybe. All right, we'll take this video, right click it, open with. Oh, come on, come on. It's not even here. Search for it somewhere, don't care. I'm gonna open it from here. Okay, so that's my OBS, my open broadcast. I'm going to do a new project and I'm going to name it, this is the best name I have for it at the moment, I'm just going to name it The Left is Unraveling, and I'm going to do that right there for my sequence. My sequence is set up at a DSLR, 1080p, 30 frames per second. <clears throat> I'm going to hit that, I'm going to hit that button there, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this video and I'm just going to drag it on in, it's going to freeze up for about a second and I'm going to drop it. It's going to ask me if I want to change the settings. Might as well just do this, so it'll match. I'm going to click right here. I'm going to open this up so you guys can see. I'm going to click right here, and I'm going to hit delete. It's just going to shrink everything in. So let's let's go over the issues with this. Fast, painless. Signs of growing extremism in this country on the left are everywhere. Just okay. What you'll notice right off the bat is the volume in this clip is a little bit low. Just yesterday, a Congolese immigrant. The volume we want it pumping up to here the top right shut down the statue of Liberty. so now what you can actually see is if you expand all this out you can see that this volume right here is a lot chunkier so right around here ish the logo hits in shaboom shaboom so what I'll do is click my blade with B and I'll hold actually you know what I'm not gonna do that just yet I'm gonna do this the smart way <clears throat> As you look here, you can see this is all chunky audio. This is some chunky audio, and these are my clips, nice and fat. So what I'm going to do to help the rest of this audio that's suffering a little bit, if I hit play here. Make sure she gets out. Uh, I mean, it's not really low, but it's low. It's in this area, negative 12, uh, safely. negative 9, negative 6. This column is Michelle Goldberg explained that... Yeah. So what we want to do, a quick way to fix this, we don't necessarily just want to crank that up, that volume right there, so I'm going to undo that. What I think the best way to fix this is going to be, quickest way rather, is going to be come to the effects and slap on something like, let's take an EQ, and we'll slap that on with like a loudness effect, and then we'll take a multi-band compressor and throw it on there, and we'll slap on an upward plus six because we, we're at negative six what's the other option plus nine plus eight let's go plus eight and then actually you know what let's go plus six because we'll throw on another dynamics the dynamics is an overall compressor and we'll use this with the limiter so we'll click the limiter on drop this down to a negative about point negative zero point thirty when we play it, you'll see we'll already be like near the top, I would imagine. They have gone insane. On MSNBC, New York Times columnist Michelle Goldberg explained that... See, it's already better, but now the problem happens is when we hit these clips that are already big and fat with all those effects are probably going to be a little too much. Because what you want to have here is you want to have the audio kind of bouncing around up here, but with some headroom, with some play. But you don't want to just slam in the top. That's a little over compressed. She scaled the statue to see that's good, but come over here and check this big audio, the fat audio wave. At the monument calling for the abolishment of ice. Posting on Instagram, quote, rise and resist is at the Statue of Liberty demanding Trump and the GOP hashtag abolish ice. Re well, that's not bad either. It's out uh, safely. Congo, the people of Congo were discussed. I think our compressors just fixed everything. Let's see if this is over compressed. Good to see you. See, it's a little over compressed. I hear distortion in the audio. That's because my clips here are already big and fat. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit my blade, hold alt, just do the audio, press A to get my little pointer back, hold alt again, drag the audio, control T. It's going to crossfade there. I'm going to come to this file and I'm just going to turn these three things off. Ethan, thank you. Good to see you. There we go. On that clip, everything's off. So that big chunky wave will stay good. Over here, 
Might want to just do the same thing. Right here. Yeah, it's a little much. It's a little com too compressed. There's no dynamic there. So I'm going to hold Alt and just do the audio because sometimes there are glitches in Premiere that I've noticed where when you cut a wave, you might hear a little pop, which is very weird because I, I can't explain it. I just think there are glitches in CS6, the older version, that sometimes they cause little pops when you render the video. So I'm just going to do the audio and then I'm going to click A again, hold Alt, crossfade that. Right here. Oh, I'm going to take it off. I'm going to come over here. And what I noticed is all this audio is actually big and pretty loud right here. Uh, it was loud. You could see it's all big and fat. So it kind of dies down around here-ish. Members. Right around. Members of the group. About here maybe. So I'm going to hold. I'm going to blade with B, Alt, cut, A for the pointer, highlight with Alt, Control T to crossfade it. And then I'm going to come to this whole section that looks big and fat. And I'm just going to take these off again and see what happens. Is in resist group. Now they're a little low over here. Who were at the monument calling? I'll just I'll just put on the dynamics. Calling for the abolishment of ICE, posting on Instagram quote rise and resist. It Looks pretty good over here. So I think that's it. I think we fixed the audio. You could tell by the we could tell what we needed to fix by the way that the the audio looks. If you really want to drag this out and get a big look at it. So we have this audio here, which is not really affected. It's just affected with the dynamics. I actually want to come in right here, cut this, cut this clip, crossfade it, and then on this clip here, I'm going to take off the dynamics too because this clip's already good. What you're watching right here. My, my pre-made logo clips are already maxed out. That's why they look this big and fat. They're already, you know, pumped up. Okay, so the last thing I'm going to do as a bonus here is I'm just going to I'm going to come over here and go to my project. I'm going to come over here to a uh, new item adjustment layer. And I'm going to throw this adjustment layer on top and drag it out. And then I'm going to oops, I lock, sorry, I locked it there. I didn't mean to do that. So I'm going to come to it. And what I want to do is change a few things. I'm going to go to the effects. I'm going to throw a fast color corrector on it. And it's not going to be easy to just color correct everything because they're all different clips. But what I can do is I can pop a little contrast in. I can bring up the mids a little bit for a little brightness. And that makes it a little more, slightly more washed out. So I'll add back some saturation with like 110. I don't want to overkill it. And then I'm going to throw on an unsharp mask. Scroll down for that. It's here. And I'm going to put the radius at about 3 because that's a decent radius to do some fine lines without making them too fat, and then I'm going to pump up the amount to maybe like 60 or 70-ish, see what happens. And then if we, un if we take this eyeball off, it goes off, and if you look at his face right here, let's actually, let's actually zoom in. What right here you can see a little more, and so we'll look at their faces over here, and then I'm going to pop, put on this layer, ready, and you'll see the difference. Boom. Now it's a little a little pixelated. I mean the footage is bad to begin with, but if you compare between the two, I might have overdone it a little bit on the sharpness, so maybe pull it back to um, you know 60-ish and then maybe even bring the thickness up. The more the higher you go on the radius, the, the thicker the lines are gonna be. That's a little much. So possibly the, thick, the thicker the sharpening will be. So if you come down, it's going to do the fine lines. But if you come up, it'll do a little thicker outlines. And actually, sometimes I'll, I'll go ahead and I'll do the thicker ones and just put a little bit in. Because if you were to unclick it, you just look around his mouth here and 
unclick it off, click it on, it makes a minor adjustment. And then actually I'm going to go on the Unsharp Mask and press Control C and copy it. And then click down here, I'm going to Control V, paste another one. And then the second one, I'll bring this down to the, th the maybe three-ish that I had it. And maybe raise that up to like 50-ish. And so now I actually have two Unsharp Masks on here which are doing different things. One is doing a thicker line and one is doing a thinner line. But the combination of the two makes for some nice sharpening. So if I take this off and you check again, see how like washed out and bland it all kind of looks and blurry. But when I pop this on, I have everything sharpened and popped more colors. And you know, you can uh, just make it look that much better and put this on fit so right off the bat let's take this off and you can see not a major improvement but it does it pull, pulls in some I might even want to I might even want to um, saturate it a little more like 115 to give it just a little more color and possibly bring the darks into I don't know maybe 10 just give it like a little more pop so that this is off, this is on, this is off. Look at her shoes, and then you watch the brightness kind of. Now it's on. See the detail in the statue. All right, I think that's it. This is off. This is on, off, on. And I think that's it. I mean, he's a little reddish here with it on, off. Is eh, it's already kind of reddish. But, I mean, you can go in and tweak to your liking, and you can chop up the clip. And ideally, you want to do this when the clip is already chopped up into different clips. But this is an overall video that was already edited once. So it's got music and everything included in it. So I just wanted to fix up the volume here, uh, primarily this section and the beginning. And I wanted to just slap on a little bit of sharpening to overall enhance the, the image here. So we're not going to watch the whole thing. I'll save you guys the, the torture. But uh, that's the idea, and if you want to watch it, go to tactimes.com, T-A-C-T-I-M-E-S.com, or search Tac Times on YouTube. And I'm not sure what the title of this video will be, but I think it's going to be The Left is Unraveling, unless you can uh, come to the channel and post in the comments and give me a better title for it. All right, I think that's it. I'm going to press Control e to export. I'm going to change from AVI never want to export an AVI, it's horrible. Go to, well, I'm not saying never, but but you never do. So H.264, and then I'm going to pop in my presettings. If you don't have presettings, you might want to start with something like a HD 1080p 29.79 frames, or um, if you can get 60 frames or whatever. My presets I made, I started off with something like that and I tweaked them, but my presets that I like to use are the HD 1080p. I like to do it in 60 frames per second. And uh, I'll do this one at 30 megabits per second for the uh, video, um, what do you call it here? The data rate, bit rate, the bit rate settings. I'm gonna go with 30. Um, actually, you know what? I'm going to check and see what this original file had. Right click it, properties, details, and over here it's at 24. Okay, yeah, so it's in that ballpark 24,000 kilobits, which equals 24 megabits. So it's in that ballpark over here at 24. So I'll put 25, and um, everything's set up for me. I like the high bit rate, 320, on the audio file. Um, your frames per second here. And your size is here, so we're good to go. I'm going to just go ahead and queue it up. And I'm going to export it. And we'll see this video is 7 minutes. So it might take a little while, but it shouldn't take too long. Once you've slept on um, all these video effects, it is going to take longer because you're affecting every 
frame rate here. I'm sorry, every frame you're affecting, so it's going to be a little. If I take that off, put that on. Yeah, it's better with it on. All right, so this is going to go for a while. It says it's going to take an hour and 20 minutes. Um, I suspect it might speed up a little more than that, but that's due to the fact that it's full of effects on here. All right, so um, the effects on here is not, not really going to make your video size any bigger than it would have been if they were not. It's just going to take a little longer to render and export everything, uh, but the upload time will be the same. It says an hour and 16 minutes. Um, yeah, there you have it. It's elapsed one minute, and that'll be it. That's it for today's tutorial. Um, have a blessed life. And I'm out. OBS. OBS, where are you, OBS? There you are, OBS. Goodbye, OBS.